Hey y'all, it's Kristen, and I have a rather large haul to share. Um, first things first, I got this from my good friend Gail. Hi Gail! Uh, she did a haul or a shop with me slash haul. I saw this book and I was like, please, I want that book. Don't sell it to anybody else. So she sold it to me and I was so happy. I have one of these, but it's like small. It's not nearly this big and I don't know how big this is, but it's like at least a regular size of paper, you know, like eight and a half by 11. But this is the uh, reproduction of the 1902 edition of the Sears and Robux, I believe. This was done in 1969 and it is a really, really cool book. Look at that. Hair tonic restore. Hopefully you can see without me having to hold it up. It's kind of a big book. Back here, I was cracking myself up when I was looking at this stuff. Now, first of all, there's bathing suits. I think they're bathing suits. They're called union suits. So, if somebody's in the know about early 1900s, look at that. These women, I swear, they all look like they're real unhappy. If I had to dress like that, I'd be real unhappy too. Lord, they look like they can't even breathe. There was one woman I saw in here. Let me see if I can find her. She was literally rolling her eyes. No joke. Let me see if I can find her. Also, I want to show you the bathing suits. Okay, I think I passed her. Let's look one more time. I already tried to do this video once. And I don't know what happened. It was like I had a stroke or something. Okay, let's see. Oh, she's smiling. Am I Yeah. Not too many of those. There she is. <laughs> Look at this woman. Right there. Can you see her? Totally rolling her eyes. She is so over this. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Okay. So, let me find the bathing suits and then we'll move on. I guess they're bathing suits. They're called, what did I say, union suits? Baby stuff. The little kids kind of creep me out. Like, look at that. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Let's see. Oh, brother, I'm not going to be able to find it again. Nope, I think I've already gone. Oh, wait, these guys. Oh, here they are. Now, look at these. Now, somebody, it says summer, trimmed summer union suit. Either that's underwear that goes under their uh, dresses or whatever, or it's a swimsuit. So, somebody tell me, because I forgot to look it up before I did this video like a dummy. Um, what else was I going to show? The men in their underwear, they look like... Uh, they got superhero tights on. Hang on, let me find it. Okay, I already passed it. One more time, we're going back this way. I swear this is the last time. One guy is literally standing like Superman. It's got to be right here with the ladies. Uh, stuff. Alright, there's the hats, gloves, suspenders. Come on. Now watch, I'm going to turn this video off and I'll be able to find it. Here we go. I think it's coming up. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Look at it. I mean, seriously, it looks like Superman without the cape right there. Look at that. And then look at that guy right there. With that thing. I'm telling you. And then this one right here literally says underwear for fat men. <laughs> oh, and he looks like he's going to jail right there. Oh, my gosh. This is hilarious. Anyway, this book... I love it. This is going to be many hours of uh, shower bath yolk. A lady can use it without wetting her head. Each limb can be showered separately, placing the arm or leg through the yolk. 
There's no splashing of walls. The jets of water are directed inwardly. Weird. What in the heck is this? I gotta, I'm gonna have to look that up because I can't tell by the picture really. Look at that. It looks like she has a shower curtain on. And it's showering her. That is just too weird. That one too, right there. You mind frame? I hope so. Huh, okay. I'm telling y'all, I, I could look at this stuff for hours. The pricing on this stuff. Of course, I did see a bicycle in here for like 15 bucks. And I'm thinking that's a lot for back then. What is that one? Anyway, okay, I'm done looking at this. So, Gail, thank you very much. Oh, she's Cinnamon Tea on Etsy. I will leave a link down in the description box. She also has a YouTube channel, Gail Agostinelli. I will leave a link to that also. She also sent me some flashcards and bingo cards and things like that in this little extra packet. So, thank you very much. Okay, moving on, because I just spent 30 minutes on that thing. I got some playing cards from all over the place. I think... Some of these came from, well, yeah, I got some from Etsy and then some from eBay. So, here you go. These are all, as far as I know, vintage or kind of vintage. I know, I'm almost positive the ones over there that I got from Etsy. Are vintage. These came from um, eBay. Look at that one. How that one is. And look on the front, it says the name of the flower. And then the back's like that. I would love to have that deck of cards right there. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, I got these on um, eBay. I'll leave a link down in the description box where I found these. I also got these on eBay. I thought they were just, you know, kind of cool. Especially these. These, I mean, I guess you could put those in a... They kind of are a little boho to me, even though I know those are like mandolins or something. Anyway, I just think they're cool. And then I got these adorable little things. Look at that. Is that not the cutest thing ever? Okay. So cute. And I don't know how vintage these are. They don't look vintage at all, actually. But I just love the front. I mean, really. Okay. Then, this I got from um, Etsy. But I don't remember the seller. But I will be linking it down in the description box. These little postcards were on either side of these keeping them from uh, folding. I can't find my vocabulary words. These are vintage postcards that are really cool. Okay, so I got those. And then these are, I use receipts a lot in my journals now. I got that idea from Gina over at the Rebookery. Hi, Gina. But I like sewing these into the pages, so these are just old from the 50s and 60s receipts that you can just sew right into your book. Um, I think these came from Canada, but I don't remember the shop, but like I said, I'll link it down in the description box. Okay, then from, and I've bought from this girl, Sue, like a gazillion times. She is the brown pair over on um, Etsy. I, believe it or not, did not have, let me move this over, very many playing cards. Can you believe that? I know it's hard to believe, but I didn't. So, Sue, over at the brown pair, had quite a few. And I got me some. So, I'll just go through these quickly. Excuse my nails. I've been working really hard. And I haven't gotten them done yet. And they're terrible. Oh, those are cute. I thought that was two. But for spring and for baby journals, look at that one. And then this one. Oh, is that Christmas? Sure is. That's mistletoe up above her head. But I just thought these were adorable. She has so many over there. Look at that blue one. Love that. Oh, there's another one like that. Cool. 
Oh, he looks really sad. Here I am just commenting on every one of them. But I don't really remember. I love those kind. Little Holly Hoppy looking ones. I know that's not actually Hoppy Hoppy, but... These are just adorable. Will go great in baby journals. Or kid journals or whatever. Look at him. Okay, I'm kind of in a dilemma right now while I show you the rest of these cards. I don't know. Now, I know. Okay, I just got through with the pockets that I had ordered so far. I got done with all of my journals, which, by the way, thank you to everyone who bought all of that stuff. I am so gr very grateful. So, now, I'm like, okay, what am I going to start on next? I have, I know I'm going to do baby journals at some point. Soon, I'm going to do baby journals. Um... I need to do baby journals, actually. I don't even know why I'm asking this question. I also had somebody on Etsy who asked me to do another Candyland journal. Now, I'm not sure if she's she's really going, if that's going to be her decision for me to make the journal or not. Because I, I made sure she understood that I'm kind of slow since I have migraines. But if she says she wants me to do that journal, that may be. But um, what I was trying to decide is, do I want to do a spring journal? since it's spring, you know, a garden one while we're in the season, and then start on the baby ones. I'm just all talking to myself. I know I am, but if y'all have an opinion, Gail, <laughs> Mom over in Scotland, somebody tell me what you think I ought to do, because I need to start on something. I want, I know I need to do those baby journals, and I'm gonna. I've got the stuff to make. I don't even know how many. But I thought, well, it's spring. Maybe I want to do a five ring binder right quick. Right quick. That's like not even in my vocabulary when it comes to this stuff. But aren't these adorable? I love those. All of these. Oh, look. Another Holly Hobby. But um, I just thought maybe since it was spring... Which, those garden... There's another one of those little boys, too. I like that. Those uh, garden slash spring ones, those can be done anytime because, you know, you can just say, instead of calling it a spring one, you can just say it's botanical. You know? So, I don't guess there's any rush on that. But I have kind of really been wanting to do one of those five ring binder ones. Especially since I saw Gail's. I like these, too. There's, like, stained glass. Okay, let me get past these. There's a butterfly. Look at that one. Ah, that's adorable. And that one with the cat. Oh my goodness. These are great. Love them. Okay. So, I will leave a link to Sue's shop down in the description box. Where I got these. Then, also from her shop... I got these little cards. There was quite a few of them for not very much. I don't remember exactly how much. Hang on. I need some scissors. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for these, but look at my scissors. you see that? Those chew marks? Hang on. Can you see those chew marks right there? That'd be from my dog. I was not happy. And, of course, I didn't catch him doing it. I just found the scissors like that. Which, it would kind of scare me because these, I don't know if y'all have some of these, but they are, uh, I don't know how you got them. But they're sharp, and that was not cool. Um, these are some kind of, they're Oklahoma. I remember they're from Oklahoma, but I can't remember what these are called. But they have different words on them. Page, Monroe, Marble City. I wonder if these are... Stillwell, Oklahoma, Rock Island, Oklahoma. Okay, these must be cities. Is that what this is? I don't know a whole lot about Oklahoma, even though it's like right next door to me and up a little bit. Byron, Gertie, who knows? So, these are like City of Oklahoma flashcards, maybe. I'm guessing. All right, did I show all of these? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Also, from Sue... This is still the brown pair. I got a music paper. And this these were wrapped. 
around the music paper. Like, they're kind of like a little more of a cardstock or whatever. And she had tape on them, and so I was trying to pull the tape off, and it, like, pulled up. Where did it pull it up? Well, I know that it pulled up a little bit on this, and I was like, no. Well, it did tear right here. And right there. I was like, don't tear it, because these are cool, too. She just used these for, like, you know, to fold it in or, or put it in. I was like, I'll use that stuff in my journals, too. So... I will show this really fast. I'm not going to show every single page because that would be the B word that I'm not going to say because I say it all the time, you know. But I will show a few if I can get all of this off here. She has, I like her stuff. Annie Laurie. Some of these pages, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the listing, yep, says that they're half sheets. So, that right there is a half sheet, but I don't care. When you're doing junk journals, you know how your pages are all different sizes or whatever? So, that's totally fine with me, and that's different. Hmm. Cool. So, anyway, rubber plant rag. All right. Does that sound like something you want to hear? Okay, so like I said, bunch of music paper that says 1910 right there, but I'm kind of wondering if that's just for the song. A lot of times in song books, it'll give you the copyright for the actual song, but not the book it was in, if that makes any sense at all. Okay, so now, <laughs> okay, y'all are going to be laughing your butts off of me. Either that or you're going to be rolling your eyes. Um, guess what I got? <laughs> And they came in this really cool box, too. Isn't it great? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Y'all, don't ask me. I, I don't know. I don't have an excuse. I, I don't know. But just remember that I have plenty to share, and they're all listed over in my Etsy. What I'm going to do right now, I've only got one listing for, like, just assorted greeting cards, vintage greeting cards. What I think I'm going to do is make up listings for wedding, birthday, that kind of thing, and do individual listings so people won't just be like well i don't know what card i'm gonna get you know what i'm saying so we will just look at a few of these i've also got um happy mail slash um kind of birthday present from renee and candy my birthday's today by the way happy birthday to me anyway um candy got this for me and then renee didn't want to take money for it and then Candy was like, yes, I'm going to send you at least a little bit. So, anyway, it's like Happy Mail from Renee slash Birthday Present from Candy. But I think I'm going to do a separate video for that because, wow, there there's a lot of stuff over there. So, I'm just going to show a few of these and then we'll do a separate video. So, Renee, I'm sorry I said at the beginning that I was going to show your stuff, but I just think that it deserves its own video. And we are not going through all of these. Of course, there might be a few of you out there saying, but we want to see them. Well, my middle name should just be Vintage, or no, my nickname should be Vintage Greeting Card Queen. What's What does Gail call me? She calls me the Shopping Queen. And I ask her where my crown was. Is that what she called me, Gail? Well, now it's Vintage Greeting Card. I don't know why. Every time I go over to eBay, I'm like, don't look at the cards. Don't look at them. And what did I do? I looked at the cards. Oh, my word. I thought you said he was, that guy was sick. <laughs> he attacked her, kind of. Not really. And the guy on the front of that card, he's supposed to be a man. He looks like a boy. I thought that was kind of funny. This is a uh, Christmas one. Anyway. I'll just show a few more of these, and then we're going to move on. Also, the painting video that I was going to do, I tried to do that last night. I didn't have the right paints. I could not find my heavy body acrylics. I did finally find them, but at the time of the video, when I was trying to use those other cheap ones, I, it wasn't working out. I was getting hacked off. So, I will try to do it again um, in the next day or so. These cards right here have um, 
they look newer to me. I don't know if they are. They're kind of yellowed, so I have no idea. But they have um, recipes in them. I thought that was kind of cool. There's several of them in here. It's like for different kinds of pies and things like that. There's one for lemon icebox pie, but the recipe calls for evaporated milk. And I'm like, obviously these people are not from the South because we don't use, or at least my family and anybody I know and who, you know, we're all from the South here. We don't use evaporated milk. We use, um, oh, that was cute. Eagle brand milk. And it is mighty fine. It's not good for you at all. But, sure does taste good. Oh, look at that one. What else do I need to say? Alright, so I tried to do the painting video. I told you that already. So I haven't forgotten about that. Um, I don't know which journal I'm going to start yet. Depends on if that lady gets back to me, what she wants to do, and all that. I'm a little nervous about doing. I don't usually at all do custom orders because of the fact that I have migraines and, you know, from one day to the next, I don't know how things are going to be. But that one's for uh, peach salad mold. Um, if she, I mean, I told her that I did, and if she decides that's what she wants to do, I can't tell her no. I, I don't want to. Orange donuts. Ugh, I don't know that I would want orange donuts. And these are like stationary because this one says Catherine, but they're blank on the inside. But look at that wheelbarrow and stuff. And then that one, it has initials. And then this one says out of Pauline's inkwell. All right, let me just, I like these little ones. They, they go really good in um, journals. Little, you know, corner tuck spots or whatever. That one's kind of different looking. There's one in here I wanted to show with a raincoat. Hang on. So, if y'all are aggravated now that I'm not showing all of them, then you need to leave me a comment down in the comments saying, Hey, we wanted to see the dang cards. Look at this one. This one's cool. And then I'll know that y'all want to see the cards. And I'll do another video or either that will... I'm sure I have cards over there y'all haven't seen. Look at that one. That one's pretty. There's three of those. That one's pretty. This one. This one has uh, her raincoat and the umbrella or like a raincoat feel or something. I don't know. But it's so cute. It's some kind of plasticky stuff. But I got two of those, which I was really happy about. So anyway, that's all for now. I'm going to do a separate video, like I said, for Renee's stuff. And I will link everybody I mentioned down in the description box. I'll also leave links to where I got some of the these, the vintage uh, greeting cards and the playing cards. And thank you so much for watching.